Hello friends, what's up? Here I will show you a very interesting video. Here in this video, I will create a cold drink shop invoice or bill generator very easily from basics. So just here put the quantity, any quantity, and it should be positive or zero. So just put the quantity and choose the date. And our shop name is Vilan Cold Drink Shop company obviously you can see the address and for pepsi panta sprite and you can see the amount per piece so now generate pdf so now here you can see the invoice bill and now this is the coke quantity pepsi panta amount and this have already filled now click on generate pdf now just you can see the pdf have been generated just print it and shared with your customer and I just show you, uh, show you now another example. So if you here just do any negative value, so what happened? Let's see. Just choose the date here and generate quantity cannot be negative. Okay. So yeah, basically this is a very simple condition. And uh, quantity is maybe zero, but not negative. So just generate PDF and also last uh, you can see the bill. Just click on this generate. And also you can change the button name. Uh, I will show you in the video. How can you do that? And I will uh, tell you from the basics. How can you generate these things? And yes, this video is going to be very amazing friends. And this video is going to be very basic. Okay. So if, if you don't know any advanced concept, then don't worry. I will tell you very basic concept in this video. And you can print and just save it and just share with your customer so let's start friends so here i am using this template uh, mdbootstrap.com this is the website you already know about it i put the link in the description box you can check it so here is the template and you can copy the code from here show code just click on show code and you can copy so in this video i am just going to make what bill generator a very easy process bill generator or invoice generator for any cold drink shop so whatever it is a cold drink shop or not it's up to you but yes i will make it for the cold drink shop the invoice generator so i am using this template so at first copy this template you can copy this also but before this you have to create django project and the django application so before copy this i just go to the uh, go to the folder and create a file so i am now inside a file here just open the cmd so just open the command prompt and now just type django admin start project and project name is project and just type a dot and now just type django admin start app and what is uh, sorry start app and the application name is oka okay so now just open it with any code editor so Okay, die or trust author. And now here is the project, and here is the our application FOCA, and this is the manage.py file. So inside the project, this is the urls.py, and my client couldn't create the connection to the server. Go to output. Okay, just close it and again run this. Just refresh it and just open with VS Code Editor again. So now this is the URLs.py. So at first you go to settings and add the in, uh, app name inside the installer. This is the basic thing you already know about Foca. And this video is going to very basic level. So don't worry about if you don't know any advanced thing. So here in this in, in this video, I'm using very basic concept. Just watching the video. So at first you have to type the application name 
and then just save it and go to urls.py and here just include import include and this is copy this and paste it here and include block.url not block our app name is poca p o c a poca.url and this is the landing page so now copy this and go to poca this is our application here just create a file url is dot py url is dot py and now paste it here so just remove these and remove these also include and just go to view here just type def index uh, this is the index function request for the landing page and now return render and request and the template name index.html okay so this is the index.html and now just here is the coca our application now create a folder named templates t e m p l a t e s uh, check the spelling of the template always and now just inside the templates just create a file name index.html index.html html so now just copy this code show code and copy this code copied already so now here just oh at first you have to go to bootstrap so just go to bootstrap bootstrap introduction so now just copy the starter template from here and just paste it here you also extend this index html to another html but here i use this in a single page also you can use the extends extend tag in django you already know about extend tag in django whatever the extend tag in django i already discussed in previously many videos extend tag so i just create it in one single web page so now just go to here and just copy this code and yeah just create a container deep tag container inside the container paste them all and as hello world and i just you know, coca cola soft coca cola or cold drink soft cold drink shop and the shop name is b lard so inside the container i just paste cool this code and this is the coca cola soft uh, shop and now here you can use also nav bar so if you wish to use nav bar you can so just add a class class name is what class name text center and just save it and run it python manage dot py but i think it's not running because there is an error in url start file so from dot import build and now just remove this admin and here just remove these also and type views dot index and name of the url home or index whatever you want I just put the name as home. So now save it and run it. And now absolutely fine. So you can see the cold drink shop. This is the bill. You can change the cold drink shop name. Whatever you want. I don't add any nav tag because yeah, it's a cool design. So you can change the company name, yeah, whatever you want. So at first i change go to the index.html this is the container inside the container this is the full code okay so now here you can see this is the company so b l e a r b learn company and yeah just give a email id also b learn 
just make it professional be professional okay one two three four five six seven eight nine and one two three what is abc street a b c street save it and you can see the changes whatever you want just do it it's up to you that web design it's up to you just i will show you how to make it so this is the invoice so samsung just change these uh, to the cold drinks name so here you can see the invoice or slash bill and this is a bill id whatever you want so here before the bill id i just change the name of the samsung jbl macbook air iphone to the cold drinks name so some cold drinks name i just some cold drinks name obviously coca cola fanta thumbs up whatever i just took four from here so at first coca cola o p o k e so just open it and now you can see the samsung just here p o k e o and second is pepsi p e a s i pepsi so second is pepsi p e p s i pepsi and third is mirinda or thumbs up or fanta i just uh, take the fanta f a n t a fanta and now uh just s p r i t is right so oh, these are the four uh, cold drinks name and just save it and you can see the change and now uh, instead of amount here i just use the input tag for this amount and the quantity here also include a quantity uh, column uh, so for this you can see this is so just copy this this is a co and copy this and paste it here <coughs> okay so this is for the quantity so quantity of the coke here i use the input tag remember so don't worry about that if i save it you can see here at 5 150000 so here it is a th amount again table header um, this is change to quantity copy and paste and quantity quantity and this is it you can see the quantity so now i use the input tag so here uh, you can see the input okay so just copy any input Mm. Just uh, copy this any input tag, and instead of this, this is the amount, and I just area level and enter the amount. So. input tag you have to use in the quantity column but i just save it at first i will show you okay so this is the amount form control just remove this class and now okay so now it's fine so amount is uh, constant but i change the quantity so for this just uh, copy this input tag paste it here and just paste uh, after every td tag in pepsi in fanta these all are cold drinks don't worry about the design i will put this code into the telegram group link in description so yeah just refresh it uh okay so not find quantity 
input uh, input 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 okay so we have to add the td also now just i did a mistake man let's remove this input copy this pool td and now yeah now it's fine quantity and you can put the quantity and now here the type is text but change it to number change it to n o m b e r number n u m b e r number okay so everything is fine just save it and get quantity uh, i want to amount as a constant so for the coke this is the 100 so i just copy this any td tag from pepsi or fanta just paste it here and amount is first of 100 for coke for pepsi is 80 and for Fanta is 70 and for Sprite is 650. Adjust your uh, amount, uh, it's up to you. So just save it and now, yeah, amount. Amount per piece. So here, amount, just type slash per e i e c e Uh, okay, so here you have to input uh, input the quantity, whatever the quantity it is. So quantity cannot be negative. Uh, we will mm, do some clause for the quantity in the views dot py. Now just remove this thing: total amount, discount, and shipment. If you wish to add tax, then you can add tax. Tax depends on the quantity also. So uh, here. Yes, this is the thing. So you will, I just remove this, you will, and paste it. Yeah, total is this. Total, 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 and then total is here. And remove this also because we will input the total, what it will be. We, it automatically calculates. So now just uh, refresh it. Yes, it's absolutely fine. So this is the amount for Coke, Pepsi, Fanta, Sprite, and this is the quantity. So here is the all input. Now inside every input, just give a name tag. This is very important name because we grab the value of the input by name tag so this is for coke coke and then this is the pepsi so a name a name p e p c e p s i pepsi third is fanta so name is f a n t a fanta and fourth input tag is what fourth input tag is byte mm, name equal Byte S P R I T E. So now we have to use the form. So because these all are the input text, so here we need to use the form. So here is a table and discount quantity. So here just type form A P O R A form. If O form and just action dot method post and copy these end form text uh, where our amount this is the total and after this big text just paste it. 
so now this is the form tag int and this is the total now below the total just create a button for submit so now just type b u c t o n or you can copy or paste from the bootstrap so just uh, search for button any button large button just copy it and paste it here and type button submit not type button type is submit and now generate g e a a r generate sorry generate spelling is i mistake the generate spelling generate pdf and now just i think it generate pdf it is a big button okay it's absolutely okay because design it's up to you so generate pdf so you can also put this date inside the pdf uh, so for this just uh, remove uh, copy this font tag and remove it and paste it up, uh, after the signature and just this button copy this and paste it before the end of form tag and here you have to input so uh, just copy any input tag from here and now just remove this and paste the input tag and name uh, obviously change the name and name is any dt for date time and so name is dt input tag is fine so generate we'll just save it and just see what happens okay so generate pdf this but this button is cute man okay so signature just remove this signature or you can use the signature also yeah here is a signature just to add a image whatever you want i just leave it for now and here uh, this is not a number type this is the date time and now just to go with this and date mm, this is the date time and d a t e okay so date type is date yeah you can also the date time local but yeah i use the date only and you can also use the time so yes the template is fine now here you have to put the quantity then click on the submit and when you click on the submit then obviously csrf verification field because every django post method need the csrf token so where is the form here is the form so percent percent csrf underscore token okay so action so remove this dot just create a url from um, here so just copy this and paste it yeah. generate pdf just name it pdf class and view and the function name will be what gen underscore pdf sorry this is underscore gen underscore pdf so we'll go to view just copy it paste it here g e a underscore p d a save it and just go to url yeah so just change the name of this url so just change the name to pdf and now save it and go to index.html and here action just type percent percent url and name of the url is what p d a name of the url is pdf so now when you submit this 
here it is a submit when you submit this and this will render into this function views.chain.pdf okay so for this uh, you have to add required in every input tag so this is the input tag here just add required just add required at the end of every input tag and just put it also here required required and required so here you have to put the quantity zero one two anything so now total and here you have to put the date also whatever you want so everything is fine now just go to views.py chain pdf and now type keep request dot method equal request dot method equal post then just grab the all value from co this is the quantity value co then what's our folder is co pepsi fanta sprite co p e p s i pepsi fanta is p r i t sprite so equal so co equal what request dot post and what is the name of the input tag in the co is c o k e co just c o k e co and request dot post and this is a pepsi p e p s i pepsi and then fanta request dot post just type fanta and now sprite request dot post and name is sprite p r i t e right just save it and now i just check it what or no so just print here everything okay ETB everything okay and you have passed the variable coke C O K E coke form of Pepsi form of Fanta form of S P R I T right yes so just run it and now and the quantity submit yeah we have to fill the date so just yes everything is okay one two two yeah grab the value so, so now grab the value of date dt request dot post and the name of the input tag inside the date in is dt okay so here just check the dt is what or not just run the server and add the quantity negative quantity we will check it negative quantity this all Okay, so everything is okay. So just put it here and just add a quantity to the date, generate 
yeah grab the date also and the quantity also you can see it so yeah it's absolutely working so now for the coke pepsi fanta sprite uh, there is a particular rate for that so coke c o k e coke rate r t coke rate is what coke rate is 100 and then pepsi 80 70 50 so coke rate is 100 then the pepsi underscore rt pepsi rate is pepsi rate is i think 80 then fanta underscore rt fanta rate is what fanta rate is 70 and then sprite is p r i t sprite underscore rt sprite rate is sprite rate is what sprite rate is 50 it's uh yeah 180 70 50 so now total amount total t o t a l total is just add uh, just multiply this for quantity to the rate so t o t a l co and obviously just convert it into the integer because when you use the input text this is a string so you have to convert the integer integer of coke and integer of coke into c o k e coke Last in top Pepsi into uh, Pepsi RT Pepsi RT then plus. Into S P R I T Sprite, then into S P R I Sprite R T, then plus into integer of the Fanta, and into Fanta R T. This is the total. And now. Mm, just print P R I N T print total amount is how much total? Just save it and now run the server. Add the quantity. Okay, so still any date? Just run the server and fill the quantity. And now just give any date? Five thirty. Yeah, it's absolutely working. So yes. Just copy this return and return and just PDF dot HTML PDF dot HTML and here just inside templates create PDF dot HTML and go to index. Just copy all things and paste it here. So now go to view. Just paste it, and here you just remove the form, and here just remove the form and button also. And now, yes, it's fine. And so instead of input, I just show the quantity. So for this, go to view. You have to pass 
these Coke, Pepsi, Fanta, Sprite, and DT variables. So just that comma. C O K E Coke and Coke is for C O K E Coke. Then Pepsi P E P S I Pepsi is for Pepsi is for P E P S I Pepsi. Then Fanta is for Fanta, and then it's Sprite. S P R I T is Sprite is for S P R I T Sprite, and D T is for date time. D T. These all are variable. Now also pass the total variable. Just by total and P O T A L total is total. Okay, I have successfully passed all the variables. So go to PDF, Coke, Pepsi, Fanta, Sprite, D T and total. So here you can see this is the input. Yeah, I just copy this and remove this. And this is actually Coke. So instead of hundred, I just put general variable Coke. Okay, Coke. And now same for this. Remove input and paste it. And here just type Pepsi. And same for Fanta. Remove input. And now type Fanta here, Fanta, and just remove this input also, and just type S P R I T Sprite, and now total here just type C O T A L total and the date time. And here is the input text, and remove input, and just type date time as DT. The well, variable is DT. You already know about this, so I think this is okay now. And yeah, I have removed the form text, and yes, and now just run the server. Choose quantity and, and date generate and okay. So just choose the quantity now. Just choose the date generate. Yes, you can see this invoice thing. So now our task is generate a PDF of this bill. So for this, I use the JavaScript. So yeah, copy a button from here. And now this is a PDF and footer card. Yes, just paste here and generate PDF. Generate PDF, PDF, and type button. And now just type on click, C L I C K on click, and just on click and just type the function. Function name is my function, and the parameter of the function just give any parameter name, D V M N. Just type this is the parameter name M N. Okay, so yes. Button uh, on click equal my function m n and just remove this double invited. Then use the single invited m n and 
this is the parameter a main so actually this is the id so yes this is the deep and this is the container i just uh, print the full uh, container so here i just type dot dip and id it will amen and just copy this in deep tag and paste it here and now if you click uh, this button that this button also included uh, in this deep tag so just copy this and paste it outside this deep tag and yeah, this is the id mn and now here this is the body and now just script uh, type javascript so script and then just pyp e type type equal text text slash java a c r i c t javascript and now function and f u n c t the function and the name of function name is my f u n my fun and just give any parameter name p a and the second bracket and create a variable var var then b equal document b o c u a m e n t document dot body dot inner html document dot body dot inner html now just create another variable x or whatever you just choose it then document uh, dot get element by id get element by id uh, use this variable pa because here a main is the id so here pa is a parameter parameter this uh, in this function this is a parameter is a main and this is the id remember friends so, so just type pa and dot inner html and just type document uh, document dot body dot inner html equal dp and just dp not dp this is a deep tag actually yeah this is the deep tag pool and the variable is d okay so d d use this variable here d if you use here deep variable div so uh, obviously write here div uh, if you use here d here just write only d now just type window dot print save it now run it choose quantity which will just replace it and just run the server manage dot by run server just choose the quantity right now just choose the date and generate you, you, you can uh, see the generate pdf button is here obviously you can design this generate button and don't worry about the code i will put this full code into the telegram group just link in description so yeah generate it yes you can see the generate okay pdf just yeah i think some deep tag is issue but yeah I, this tag is generate total just slightly outside the canvas so for this where is the total man 
this is the total total just style everything yeah it's fine row and class text center text c e n t e r now it's fine or not let's check I think it's not fine. Deep row. I just uh, remove this row back. And what happened? Let's see. So just quantity choose and date. Yes. Now generate PDF. Yeah. It is now on Canva and it's absolutely working, friends. So, cold drink soft and these and these. It's absolutely working. And now just save it and share with that desired person. Also, you can print the name of the person here. Also, it's a very easy to do that. But here it is uh, instead of using name and uh, you have to use the bin. It's so amazing so just uh, use this input tag uh, then just grab the name of the input tag and then you can use the in the similar way so that's all in this video i think it's very helpful to you so just subscribe the channel friends uh, the subscribers are very low in my channel and just keep supporting the channel keep supporting friends I need support for making more interesting video on Python, Django and other technology related videos. So just keep supporting and like, subscribe, share, whatever do, just do it. So now I just want to one, uh, I just want to show one thing also, if quantity is negative, so what happened? So yes, in this case, just go to the view and here, just type if int just uh, do the condition coke ok echo is less than zero yeah coke can be zero but uh, coke uh, value of coke cannot be less than zero and that's zero then give an error or int just copy this int paste or paste or paste so here just type byte is key right and just type fanta if you fanta and just type Pepsi. so any value is less than zero then it will give an error so just type http response then just return http response and just response given h1 tag in the h1 tag so quantity cannot be cannot be negative save it and let's run the server quantity just do the negative positive 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 and just choose the date here quantity cannot be negative okay so if uh, both are negative what happened quantity cannot be negative so this is basically a simple condition man quantity cannot be negative quantity cannot be negative so every quantity should be positive or zero so yeah invoice has been generated and generate pdf so just generate your PDF and I just so this is the PDF and last this is a deep tag name not deep which is you know class container container and here it is the generate button PDF button so class AMX2 MY2 PD P, uh, PX 
by two. Okay, so now save it and actually generate the PDF. You can see some changes here. And also you can change the button color of this generate PDF button, but you can do it very easily. So that's it for the video see you in next video. I think this video is very helpful to you. And don't forget to subscribe the channel friends. Thank you.